Good evening from London. 39 days after Hamas freedom fighters peacefully attacked Israel, we have now an exclusive interview with its leader, Yihye Sinwar. <laughs> yes, uh, good evening, Rachel. Good e Let me just uh, correct you. Oh. There were also freedom rapists and a freedom butcher. Of course, of course, I apologize. Mr. Sinwar, I understand that you are now working towards a ceasefire. Uh, yes, uh, Rachel, you know me. Wherever there is fire, I say, let's seize it. Oh. All we are saying is give ceasefire a chance. The fire must be seized. <laughs> yeah, the situation in Gaza is terrible, Rachel. All innocent civilians are running out of town, so we are left without protection. With no human shield at all. So unfair. So, so unfair. unfair. And our hospitals, Rachel, our, our, our schools all run out of rockets. Oh. How are we supposed to kill Jews like this? I mean, with lectures. Actually, we've tried that one. Didn't work. I plead to the world. We need a ceasefire. We are tired. We need a break. Don't forget, we started a day earlier than the Israeli. So a day unfair, earlier. so unfair. But I understand the Zionists refused to put down the weapons. Yes. Can you imagine? Can you imagine all we want is a little time to rearm before we continue to kill them? And they won't let us. I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Sinwar. I can't hear you. The, all, all this noise in the background. Yeah, yeah I, I'm sorry, Rachel. There is, a, there is a baby here. Could you please get him to be quiet? Yeah, I wish I could. He's not mine. And his mother is in Israel. Never mind. Uh, OK, look, it's really hard to conduct an interview with this noisy kidnapped baby. Is he always like that? Oh, uh, at night, it's even worse, Rachel. <laughs> Every time we fire a rocket, he wakes up. Oh, no. I didn't have one good night sleep in a month. Wait, uh, are you telling me that there is an Israeli baby that's torturing you by sleep deprivation? What? Yes. Occupying your house. I was. So unfair, so, so unfair. unfair. And the world does absolutely nothing about it. I really hope you'll get a ceasefire soon. Thank you so much, Mr. Sinwar. No, 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 no. Thank you, Rachel. And now, please stay with us for a moment of history. On this day in 1944, Heartless Winston Churchill refused a ceasefire and continued the genocidal attack on Nazi Germany. As we well know now, far more German civilians have died in the war, which makes them the victims and Britain the war criminal.